Hi, North Fork families. It's Mrs. Flanagan here. Um, I do know that a few of you are using a tablet device to get into your classwork uh, with Class Dojo and Google Meets or iReady. So here's a quick little tutorial on how to use Google Classroom from a tablet. So I'm using my daughter's iPad. You just need to go into the App Store, type in Google Classroom, and it will pop up and download it. Now, one of the things that Mr. Flanagan and I are noticing uh, from different families is every single time they type in their student's email account, it automatically goes to at Gmail. You do not want it to revert to that. You want it to say at students.woodlandschools.org and get started. So right here where it shows her email, it is at students.woodlandschools.org. So if it recognizes that, you want to go ahead and use that one, not at Gmail. So here are her three classes. Um, this one obviously is from her homeroom teacher. This is the one I created. That's why my name is on it. And this is from technology. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click into mine to show you a few things. So I have turned on my Google Meet link. The way you know that is up here in the top right corner, you can see I have the video option on. So if I click it, it goes automatically in there and she would have to obviously wait for me to join or she'd have to enter a meeting code right down here. Okay, so let's get back out of that. Um, another thing you'll see is teachers are starting to upload their videos to assignments. I know I have a video here, so I'm going to click on it. And this is what it looks like when it's a video. It's an attachment. You just click into it, and it automatically may show up. Or you may have to click some options down at the bottom on how you want to view your video. Now... I'm going to show you what it looks like. I went into the top. I should do that again. I went into the top uh, left-hand corner where the three lines are. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, now I can view my classes here or I can just click classes to view it like this again. I'm going to go into our teacher's Google Classroom page. Now, notice up here in the top right corner, there is no video meet link because she has not turned it on for like the class meeting. So if you wanted to upload an assignment that you have, um, let's see, oh, writing, her writing piece. So I clicked into it. You can view the attachment there. You could also um, turn it in. That She's not allowing an assignment. So I'm going to click in here and I will do... Yep, I'm going to do it on this one because I believe I can. So I clicked down at the bottom to pop up uh, where I can add attachments. Now, if you did a writing piece, like an informative, it would be in your Google Drive. Or you can create a new one with a new Google Doc. But you click on Google Drive and inside there you will see uh, all the... Uh, different writing pieces or different uh, classroom projects they have worked on. So I know Ainsley just worked on light and noise pollution. So you just click on it. It will say it's um, adding to the assignment right now. And there it pops up and you can submit it in. If you don't want it, obviously you hit the X and it removes it. Okay. Okay. And that is a quick little tutorial in Google Classroom.